Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we are looking at area of triangles. First off, we're going to talk about what area is, and then we're going to specifically talk about triangles, and we're going to work in a couple of word problems with area of triangles. First off, what is area? Area is basically the squares that cover the face of a shape. It's easy to calculate when you're looking at rectangles. You do length times width, and I'll show you how that would look. It would look just like this. So you see how many squares there are to cover it. We're basically doing three times two is six, or you can just count the squares if it's small, but you can see it very clearly when it's working with a rectangle. The problem is when you get into triangles, you're getting into a different shape, and it's not as easy to fill it up with squares. Watch what I mean. So I have this triangle, and I'm wondering how would I calculate the area, right? It's not super easy to just cover it with squares, right? Because there would be portions of it that are included and portions of it that are not. However, you might notice something about this specific triangle. It's half of a rectangle. And that's where we get our equation. The equation for the area of a triangle is that you take the base times the height and you divide it by 2. In other words, you're basically taking the length times width and dividing it by 2. You're taking the equation or the formula for the area of a rectangle and you are dividing it by 2. Let's take a look at it. Every single triangle will use the same formula. That's the formula there. And it doesn't matter if the triangle looks like this, like, oh, that's half a rectangle. You know, we've got eight and eight. It can also be a triangle that looks like this. The key here is that your base and your height are perpendicular or they meet at 90 degrees. So you can see the red triangle there. It has that kind of dotted line going straight up the center, and it goes from the base of the triangle all the way to that point. That is really important that it's meeting the base at a 90 degree angle. That is the height of the triangle. In the case of the blue triangle, the base and the height are both sides of the triangle or edges, right? It's eight meters on the base and eight meters for the height. However, as you can see with the red one, it's that eight centimeters is not actually the edge of the triangle, but it's that perpendicular height. And that is important that we recognize it. Let's look at, um, again, this formula. We've got our base and our height. We've got our base and our height. And that's how we're going. To, that's what we're going to substitute into this equation to make it work. So let's practice here just a little bit about labeling the base and height of triangles. I've got this set up here and I'm going to give you a triangle. What I want you to do is try to identify what is the base and the height. As long as you can identify the base and the height, you will be able to solve the area for every single triangle. So go ahead and try it out. What's the base and height of this triangle? I also have another one here, and we'll look at that in a second. But the base of that first triangle is four, four centimeters, and the height is three centimeters. Now I want you to look at that orange triangle, and I want you to identify what is the base and what is the height. With the base, you probably identified six centimeters pretty quickly. But what did you write down for the height? In this case, you can't have written down anything. We don't know what the height is. The height is actually not even labeled. If I put in a label 1.5 centimeters, then I could identify the height. But as long as there's nothing written along that dotted line, that is my height. So at this point, we don't know what it is. When I label it, then we can say what it is. And that's important. You might have a lot of useless information there, the two centimeters, the five centimeters. You might get a bunch of information you can't use. 
but you have to be able to peel that aside and look for what it is that is important. All right. Again, base and height are perpendicular. They meet at 90 degrees. There's an example of base and height where the, the sides of the triangle are the base and the height. There's one where base and height are not the sides of the triangle. I have another 90 degree or right angle triangle here where the base and the height are sides. And I have one other type where the base and the height are kind of strange looking in that red triangle there. But remember, it's the 90 degree angle that's really important. So the height is that measurement from the base 90 degree perpendicular straight up to the height of the triangle. Let's start calculating the area. What is the area of this triangle? When we're calculating area, what we will do is we will use this formula. Area is the base times the height divided by two. So I'm going to put in the base of three, cent three inches, the height of two inches, right in there for B and for H. And then I'll multiply three times two is six. Six divided by two is three. So the area of that triangle is three square inches. And that's the way we say it, three square inches. We will sometimes write it with the inches to the power, raised to the power of two, but we'll say it as square inches. Because remember, area is the number of squares it takes to cover that triangle. Now it's time for you to practice. This one here has a lot of distracting information you might not need. Use the formula to calculate the area of this triangle. Pause and practice. We are back. When you substituted base and height, did you substitute the numbers five and two? The base is five and the height is that dotted line of two feet. We'll multiply five times two to get 10 and divide 10 divided by two to get our final area of five square feet. Sometimes we're not given a picture, but instead we're given information in a sentence like this. Calculate the area of a triangle with a base of 17 feet and a height of four feet. When you're given that information, you do the same thing. You substitute the information into the formula. So the base will be 17 and the height will be four. And then we just solve like normal. 17 times four is 68. 68 divided by 2 is 34, and so we can say the area is 34 square feet. Now let's look at a word problem. A sail on a ship is 7 yards tall and the bottom extends out 2 yards. How many square yards of fabric are in the sail? There's the equation. Go ahead and try that one out on your own. I've even drawn a picture for you. When you substitute, did you put 7 and 2 into this formula? 7 times 2 is 14, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. That tells us that there are 7 square yards of fabric in the sail. There's our ship. Yeah. All right. Woo! Take it for a ride. A couple of things to remember, our equation or formula for the area of a triangle is area is the base times the height divided by two. The base and height are perpendicular. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. I hope that video was helpful for you. Make sure to use the worksheet to practice before you take the quiz. Good luck and have a wonderful day.